Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela. And I'm so happy you could tune in and spend some time with me today. So this is one of the most exciting videos that I look forward to every month. And that is my planner flip through of my mega happy planner. I have nine different happy planners and franken plans into the this gorgeous beauty here and she makes my world go round I love her so much so if you're interested in checking out uh, this flip through of all of my nine planners and seeing how I use them how I set it up um, just keep on watching So I need to get another cover page. This is my holiday cover page and I've just carried it over through January because it is so cute, but I definitely need to make a new one. I might make a Valentine's themed one for February. Um, so this is my solar system title page, my, what is this called? Uh, table of contents, my table of contents. So I actually have 17 different planners. I know, I know and uh, only nine of them are in here and the other eight are in another planner so we just have my yearly calendar here with my super cute uh corgi stickers on my bookmark um, and then we have the perpetual calendar which is so so helpful i love it so much and then this is something new that I added into my planner. This is a gratitude page. These pages are from the Colorful Leopard uh, bullet journal type uh, of happy planner. I forget what they call it. It's this one right here. I have it right here. The Stay Wild, Be Free. I got this for 15 bucks at Hobby Lobby, but it has um, a lot of dot grid paper as well as some of these more like bullet journal type spreads, but I wanted to do a habit tracker, like a yearly habit tracker. Um, so I set this one up for the first six months of the year and January was my 10K steps a day habit tracker. And this is also something that I just started recently and I'm really excited to continue. This is an idea I had since the beginning of the year, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, these are my New Year's resolutions and I wanted to have one resolution per planner <laughs> because all of my 17 planners kind of, uh, they're about like a particular aspect in my life that I want to develop and work on. So I thought it would make sense to have 17 resolutions for 17 planners. So I've already set up a couple here and I'm excited to continue working on this page um, for the uh, rest of the week. At the end here, we also have this cute um, like bucket list type of spread, which I thought would be fun to have. And then we have my sticky note dashboard with all of my cute um, sticky notes. And on the back of it, this is new as well. I added some more sticky notes because I figured why not? I added a bunch of these from the pressed florals accessory pack. And I think these are from the gardening um, accessory pack, the newer one that came out. And then these are from the Mickey Mouse and the Mickey and Minnie like floral accessory pack. And then these are the only ones that are not happy planner. They're just a larger sticky note. Um, with little cows on them so cute i got that from a japanese bookstore this is also something new that i added into my mega happy planner these are uh, block schedules hourly block schedules for when i work from home as well as when i work externally because sometimes it's nice to just wake up and already kind of have a structure to your day without even thinking about it without even like planning it out so these are days when i don't really have a lot going on. I don't have any meetings. I don't ever like the whole day is mine and it helps to just like check out this page and figure out how, uh, how I want to spend the day. And then it transitions seamlessly into my hourly schedule, my daily pages. Um, these are just, uh, daily pages from all sorts of happy planner, uh, accessory packs. Some of these are Mickey Oasis daily pages. Some of these are some of their classic daily pages. I think these are their wellness daily pages. And then I have some of these um, sheets that aren't necessarily daily pages. These are from a gardening accessory pack, but they're really cute and they could function um, as a daily page, uh, no problem. So I have some of those. And then I just have a couple of pages of dot grid paper that is blank. Um, I love 
blank dot grid paper because I feel like the Happy Planner gives us so much decoration on our like filler paper that sometimes it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> anyway, so that's all of my like, I don't know what to call it, the pages before you get into my planner my planners so this is the first planner of my stack of planners and um this is actually an undated like the pages for this planner okay let me just start that again so the first planner in my setup is my science planner this is the main priority of my life this is finishing my dissertation and graduating and developing um, all of my scientific research projects and I use a Mickey Mouse undated vertical planner for this planner because it's so much fun. Um, I love Mickey and Minnie. I think they're super super cute and super fun and honestly science can be a little technical and a little boring and so it's nice to have um, just you know, Mickey Mouse smiling up at you while you're trying to work on some statistics. So the monthly overview page I use to kind of uh, map out my monthly goals. I still am trying to figure out how I want to use this line section here, but I use the, uh, the holiday and special date section for important work dates. This is my monthly calendar. I went with a blue theme because it's winter. And then we have uh, the first week, second week, and third week, and fourth week in January. And um, this is my bookmark. I'm using the super cute mini mouse bookmark. And I actually uh, have all of my planners um, following a theme. Like I use a particular type of sticker in each one of my planners because for me, it, it helps structure my life. And that way I'm not kind of at a loss as to how to decorate and structure my planner. So for this particular planner, I use all of my Mickey Mouse stickers. So these are like a bunch of Mickey mouse uh disney stickers from the happy planner and that's all i use in this planner and that way i you know get through all of my disney stickers and i also have this cohesive theme and i don't get bored with it because i have 17 planners that i decorate in 17 different ways so it just helps me to kind of explore a particular theme um more so than if I was just kind of like randomly, you know, just choosing stickers willy nilly. But there we go. And then we have the February monthly, which I need to decorate and I'll transfer this over into my new setup. So that's that. And then we have my second planner, which is um, a color block vertical style. And this planner is actually this one here. So I actually am using the cover with all these super cute doodles for my planner. And this is the January in that planner. And I tend to use the monthly overview page as like brainstorming, as well as writing important dates and kind of writing out the projects that I'm working on. But uh, I just didn't use the monthly for, uh, for this planner this month. And so this section is actually what I call my higher education section. And it's actually already evolved from the moment uh, I picked up this planner. So when I first got this planner and I started off the year, this planner was supposed to be for my internship that I have with the graduate division. It's a part-time position um, where I work with the administration on communications and outreach and recruitment. And it's super cool, super interesting. I love the work there that I do. It's very like uh, marketing and communications work, which is something I haven't really done as a graduate student. I'm very much, you know, a scientist in the lab, but I am interested in being an administrator in higher education. And so this position was, you know, like a gateway for me to start getting into that world. And so I started using um, this planner for that. And for the first two weeks in January, I just used this planner for that and uh, we didn't really get back into this the quarter until this week here so that's why it's kind of blank uh, the first two weeks but we didn't really start working until this week but um, in the third week of January I actually um, got a position as an instructor of record at another university the University of San Diego which is about maybe like 15 minutes away from the University of California San Diego and so I started working there as an instructor 
at just teaching one class there, a, a laboratory class. And I figured I could kind of um, combine both of those positions because they're both part-time positions. I could combine them into one planner that is under this umbrella of higher education because for me, that instructor position is also supposed to help me become a better teacher, a better professor, and it's just going to develop my portfolio alongside my like internship work in the communications and outreach and just improve me as a person um, for educational administrative work. And so I just combined both of them into this one planner and it worked out because I think for both of those positions, like they don't like one position by itself because it's part time doesn't necessarily fill up an entire planner, but having two positions that are part time does definitely fill up the planner. As you can see, it was kind of empty before um because sometimes because it's part-time work so it's it's not like super intense but uh now with both positions i can definitely fill up a planner <laughs> and justify the use of this planner so that is that and then this is the current week here and so for the theme of this planner, I've been using these uh, stickers from the Happy Planner. These are their pastel stickers, and these are really, really cute. I have this huge mega pack of stickers that I eventually want to like, you know, get through and uh, use up. So I've just been using exclusively those stickers in this planner. And I think it goes really well with like the overall theme of the planner, which is a super cute like doodly type of aesthetic. It's very light and whimsical and bright. And so the stickers that I'm using exclusively for this planner are these um, doodly pastel stickers. My theme here is like pastel and whimsical. And I have this cute Mickey Mouse sticker on the back of my bookmark. And then we have the February monthly overview page. And then we get into my next planner. And I separate all of my planners with fun scrapbook paper that I've cut down to size and hole punch. And I paper clip it so that I can just, you know, automatically go from um, the scrapbook paper to the monthly overview. And this is my science communication and service work planner. I try to do a lot of science communication alongside like my scientific research. I think it's really important and valuable. And these pages are from this horizontal planner. I love this planner so much. It's so soft and pretty and just beautiful. It's like a breath of fresh air and again i try to brain dump like on in this section here and write down important dates and kind of review my projects and goals for the month but i just never got around to doing that this month and then this is the monthly overview i write down important meetings and such here and the theme for this planner is uh sophisticated florals so i've been using this sticker book exclusively but in general, I just want it to be kind of like matching the overall like feeling of the planner. Like I want it to be these soft muted blush tones. I like, I want it to be minimal. I want it to be just really chic and classic. And so, um, yeah, that's, this is the first week in January, the second week in January. This is my first time using a dashboard. Oh, did I say this was a horizontal? No, this is a dashboard. So this is my first time using a dashboard layout for my science communication work. Last year, I used uh, a vertical style because I was interested in um, kind of like doodling and drawing in my um, in my planner because as part of my science communication work, I do a lot of doodles, a, little, a lot of art. Um, and so it's nice to just kind of doodle in your planner because that way you don't need like you don't need to carry around like a sketch pad or anything and it's just like right there you know I have to you know do my art so I just do it right there <laughs> and so this is fun this is a little comic sketch that I did of an idea that I'm developing I kind of want to start like a cartoon series like a comic series of uh, my life as a scientist as this like little brown girl who like 
wound up in a science laboratory and got her PhD. And I want to call it Dora the Conquistadora <laughs> instead of La Exploradora, you know, the Conquistadora. So kind of tongue in cheek. And also, you know, I'd want to talk about important issues like uh, diversity in education and uh, academia and things like that. So I started off um, with this little sketch here. And then, and then this is another cool sketch that I did. This is actually from a Mayan codex, so um, a pre-Columbian document from the Mayan people. And this is all about uh, beekeeping in uh, prior to you know uh, Westernization and uh, before you know before the honeybees were imported into the American continents, um, the Mayan, the Aztec, you know the American indigenous peoples would beekeep with their particular. Uh, native bee which is a stingless bee and so this was just a drawing from one of their uh, historical documents uh, showing like a honeybee or a, a, a stingless bee and like the bee god as well as some like glyphs kind of detailing what's going on and then that is it for that particular planner and we have the february monthly here and we have our fourth planner and again i have my sparkly um my sparkly scrapbook paper there. I love this pink so much. And this is my colorful leopard lined vertical planner. And this is my current events planner. So this is the planner that these pages come from. Super, super cute planner. I love that planner so much. And this planner is supposed to motivate me to stay informed and stay educated on current events. So for the monthly page, I try to write down something that I heard on the radio because presumably I tuned into the radio at some point during the day. So it's supposed to motivate me. Um, to listen to the radio at least, you know, for a couple of minutes each day and then write down the most important thing that I've heard on the radio. And as you can see, I didn't really do that this month. I just haven't really been listening to the radio too much. So I'm going to try to get back into it in February. And then for the weekly layouts, I like the lined vertical a lot for this because it allows me to write. And this planner is definitely one that I'm writing a little bit more than I'm decorating. And how I set it up is I'll read an article either from, you know, the New York Times or the Los Angeles Times, the Washington Post, the Atlantic, you know, some some publication that has, you know, that is uh, that has a good reputation. <laughs> And I'll read like a whole article and then I'll write down the name of the article as well as like an important thing that I've learned from the article. And as you can see, some weeks I definitely do uh, read every day and then some weeks I don't. I tend to be good about reading Monday through Friday because I kind of work it into my morning uh, pre-work routine. But Saturday and Sunday, I tend to kind of fall off uh, the bucket there. And then this week I was so busy that I kind of stopped Thursday, but I think I'll have time to read some articles Saturday and Sunday. It's currently Saturday So maybe I'll read a few and then I can kind of fill in um, the rest of the week Yeah, and this is a lot of fun. It definitely helps me to Just stay motivated to continue to just stay informed and in case you can't tell uh, the theme the sticker theme that I go with for these planners Definitely colorful leopard and wild styled. Anything that's animal print is uh, is what I go for in this planner. And honestly, that's probably because this planner is the colorful leopard planner. And so I think it's cool to kind of go along with the overall planner theme. It is a little bit random with the idea of current events because it's like super cute and stylish. But then like I'm talking about COVID-19, I'm talking about, you know, border issues, you know, Ukraine crisis, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then we move into my sixth planner, which is my spirituality planner. For this planner, I use um, a color block vertical planner. And this is the planner that I use for my spirituality planner. It's this gorgeous painterly pastels planner. I love this one so much. Just, I love, 
I just love the abstract art in this planner. So this is my spirituality planner and I'm very multi-faith. So you'll see that my spirituality and faith planner is very much like a customized hybrid of different religions and belief systems. I study the Bible. I also, you know, read the Tibetan Book of the Dead. I read about Shinto. I read about different uh, African and uh, American, indigenous American uh, spirituality practices. And I just try to learn and get closer closer to God throughout all of my religious and spiritual practices. I also like to um, stay attuned to different astrological cycles and phenomena. I also uh, practice a lot of tarot and oracle card readings and such. And so actually for my January page, I pick one tarot card a month, which actually at the beginning of the year, I always give myself like a, a year long tarot reading and I pick one card for each month. And so at the beginning of each month, I kind of write down and reflect on the card that I picked for that month at the beginning of the year. And so January, I, I picked the Ace of Wands, and so here I just have notes about what the Ace of Wands means, and uh, and I also kind of want to write a note about um, about how I saw that card reflected in my month. Um, yeah, so that's what I do here in the January, and then this is the monthly spread, and this spirituality spread i like to uh make note of like lunar events planetary events um the zodiac constellation i also make notes of when we switch into different um aztec eras and any faith and religious holidays that i know of and i just want to learn about i write down here and then we go into the first week of January, and then here's the second week of January, and then here's the third week of January, and this is the current week of January. And I'm still getting the hang of using this color block style for my spirituality and faith because I like to write a lot in this section, but I also like to decorate a lot. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly the the sticker style that I want to go for in this section because the painterly pastels kind of gives me that like pastel vibes and so right now I've been using the happy plans sticker book exclusively in this planner here let me grab that book okay yes yeah, so this is the book that I've been using in this um in this planner because I feel it goes really well with the painterly pastels I wish they had come out with a painterly pastel sticker book I think that would have been amazing but I recently found this book at a Barnes and Nobles near me this is a sticker studio apothecary uh sticker book it's a sticker gallery for modern mystics and this book is so perfect for me because it has a lot of this these witchy motifs and you know a lot of my spirituality and faith uh kind of revolves around this like uh good magic type of work and study and so this is going to be perfect for this section so i've been using a combination of this happy plan sticker book as well as that sticker studio oh and also i've been using um the zodiac sticker book and the zodiac sticker book is so perfect for me because i love keeping track of all the planetary movements all the constellation movements you know the 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 movement of the zodiac and for me the the movements of the natural world definitely reflect what's going on in our current lives and you can learn a lot from watching and observing and studying natural processes so that is why i love keeping track of all of that in here and that is the end of my spirituality planner we have my february monthly here i also have this folder from the painterly pastels accessory pack and I don't really have anything in it at the moment, but I just wanted to keep it with my Painterly Pastels planner, so I have that there. And then I have another spirituality section following that. Uh, these are kind of like my appendices to my spirituality planner. This is my Tonapuali, which is my Aztec calendar. Um, so the Aztec calendar is divided into 20 13-day sections and each section or each era of the calendar is has its own you know uh personality i guess you would say 
And so I've been slowly filling in the Aztec calendar here. And then this is something I just started this month. Um, I've been wanting to kind of write out the important, um, the important aspects of each new and full moon. So the new moon and the full moon um, always occur in a constellation and a zodiac sign. So this is the new moon and a full moon in Cancer, and each particular one has its own energy associated with it. So I wrote out my Cancer new moon and full moon because we just we uh, just experienced. Um, I think it was the full moon in Cancer. And so I just went ahead and did the new moon and full moon and cancer here. And these are just notes. And I kind of want to do this for all of the zodiac signs. So this is why um, I still have to write down, uh, this is going to be Gemini. And after cancer, we're going to have, uh, what is it? Is it Leo? Yeah, whatever happens after cancer. And then we're going to move into my seventh happy planner. I think it's my seventh or my sixth. I think this is my sixth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is my sixth happy planner here. And this is a fitness planner. And I use the pages from this fitness planner. This is, um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I like to call it the yoga fitness planner because it feels like all of the dividers are kind of yoga inspired and very like holistic wellness inspired. So for the monthly overview, I've been playing around with this and I really like what I've done with it. So uh, here in this important date sections, I whited out the dates that they had and then I wrote down hikes. So I'm gonna give myself a goal of doing at least six hikes a month. And so I've done three this month. I think it's just a fun way to kind of motivate me to go out hiking. And then here in the progress worth celebrating section, I I did this last year and um, it's basically like an exercise workout tracker um, because for me, it's not enough to track something once. I like to kind of like track it in multiple ways. <laughs> So I have three different like sections of my body that I want to work on. These are like arms, abs, and legs. And I give myself a goal of doing at least like this amount of workouts this month. So I gave myself a goal of doing four abs workouts, four arm workouts, and six leg workouts. And I've done all my arms and ab workouts, and I've done most of the leg workouts. I think I actually have already done six workouts for my legs but I just haven't gotten around to uh, coloring in the boxes and I also want to um, run at least three times for the goal of eventually running a marathon so I've actually run twice already um, and I'm only going to fill in these boxes if I've run more than three miles so I think I've run three times but the third time I ran I ran two miles so I didn't Note it down there. And then these boxes down here, I like what uh, what we have, like the how I'm strengthening my mind, how I'm strengthening my body, what I'm loving about myself, but I don't know what to do with them yet. So I'm leaving them blank for now. This is the January divider. And then this is my monthly fitness calendar. And so how I like to use this is I like to use it as a memory keeping exercise. I write down all of my workouts, um, for you know for the day here and I know it's a little bit redundant with my monthly and with my weekly but for me it's so motivating to write down you know what I've worked out and it's also cool to see everything in a month and then this was the first week in January I was just coming back from vacation so I didn't really get back into my working out until like the weekend and then this was the first full week that I was like truly in my planner I had so much fun with this one and then this was the second, third week in January. Um, I went with a yellow theme, was really into my planner for the first couple of days, and then I just kind of dropped off with it. And then this is the current week here today. And again, I tend to always like work in my planner a lot, like Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursday through Sunday, I it's always, <laughs> it's always a hit or miss. I definitely want to work out today, Saturday though, and Sunday, so I'm hoping that these two days are going to be nice and filled up. So that's my fitness planner, and I just have here a cute little Mickey Mouse bookmark. And then we get into my, let's see, what, what number is this? Seventh. This is my seventh planner here. This is my wellness planner, and I use 
a wellness planner from the happy planner for my wellness um, this is the one that says your soul is golden it's really really cute and adorable and it's so motivating and i actually don't have the january monthly overview because i ended up giving a bunch of the pages from that planner um, to a friend so i actually wasn't going to start this planner until january until this year and because that planner was an 18 month planner that started last year in june um, i had these extra pages and so I figured um, I had a friend who was interested in them and so I just gave her those pages and instead of you know giving her a uh, half of one week I just ended up giving her um, the, the January overview page as well so I just ended up using this uh, filler paper um, to, to give myself a little January overview page and I'm still kind of working on what I want my January overview page to look like for my wellness planner. Right now I just have this little uh, meditation trophies page which every time I meditate I want to give myself a little trophy and actually I kinda, I'm gonna give myself one right now because I did meditate yesterday and uh, I used to meditate a lot more frequently, but this month I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And so that's why I wanted to set up this page was because I wanted to motivate myself to um, meditate more. And I don't count a meditation that happens before bed. Maybe I should, but um, it seems like the only time I try to meditate is like right before I go to bed. I call it my deep sleep meditation and it helps me like go to sleep quicker. But I feel like that's kind of cheating. I want to do meditation that is, you know, during the day, like I intentionally take five minutes out of my busy day and meditate. And then for my monthly, um, my monthly spread for my wellness planner, I use a mood tracker. So pull it out real quick. This is my mood tracker. And I actually filmed a video of how I set this up. Um, that's one of the more recent videos I've published. But I had a lot of fun with this mood tracker. And so I definitely am going to do it again for February. And actually, I'm a couple of days behind of how I feel. Um, let's see. Oh my god. Let's see, Friday I was feeling so sick. Um, I got my booster shot um, for COVID and I didn't feel the first two shots that I got. Like I didn't feel them at all and so I wasn't expecting to feel too bad um, with the booster, but I felt so bad. So I'm gonna give myself a purple square there because according to my legend um, that's tired and sad and then thursday i felt pretty good so i'll give myself this pink i'm so off with the colors because i i don't know where this pink is it's somewhere but i think that pink is close enough right and then wednesday i think i also felt pretty good wednesday so i'll give myself a pink and today I actually feel really good. Like I'm already gonna give myself like a pink heart because I feel great. I had such a good night's sleep and um, I just feel so much better than yesterday. So let's pop this in. Okay, mood tracker. And then this is my first week in January, again, I was kind of slow getting into my planners the first week because I was coming back from vacation. And then this is my second week. I got a little bit more into it. I really like my wellness planner because it allows me to just, you know, take care of myself. And this is the sex, the space is like for me. It's, it's my safe space. Like um, all of these stickers that I use are very much like self care stickers. And actually that reminds me, I haven't been sharing with you my stickers that I use. So the stickers that I use for this section, digital detox and mood tracking, these are very much self care care related so I use those and I also um, pull for like some nice florals and actually I totally forgot to, to uh, share with you the stickers that I use for my fitness uh, my fitness section obviously I just use fitness stickers in this section um, sometimes I'll pull for other stickers to complement the spread like this is a yellow spread so I pulled for like some yellow stickers from like other sticker books but generally I tend to use fitness stickers. So I have here 
um, Work It Out fitness book and this Healthy Hero accessories book. Um, this one is a little bit more of a loose, uh, a loose sticker style. Uh, just as long as it's fitness, it's fine. And then anything else I want to add to it um, is fine. And for my wellness planner, I use wellness sticker books. Uh, so this was last week, and then this is the current week. I really love the journaling sections down here. And something that I've been using this planner for as well is um, any health appointments, doctor's appointments um, go in here. That was something that I used to put in my household planner, but with my wellness planner, I feel that it fits more into my wellness planner. So any health appointments go into here, as well as any like self-care appointments, like salon appointments, hair appointments, anything that is about me and myself like goes into here. And sometimes I even just like make my own salon appointment, like I have to paint my nails and um like i schedule my own salon appointments like i'll schedule myself for like a 3 30 nail appointment or something on saturday even if that means i'm just like painting my nails in my room <laughs> watching youtube videos if you know what i mean so that has been a fun way to use this uh this planner and then we just have the February monthly overview here, which is, it's gonna be the first time that I'm gonna be using the monthly overview for my wellness planner. And then we just have a couple of appendices uh, for wellness. So I have my bedtime routine, which I wanna update this. And then we have my sleep logs. Um, I'm super, super into sleep hygiene and kind of understanding how I function. Um, on different levels of sleep and so I have those there. I just keep track of how much I sleep and the different stages of sleep. Uh, I have a Fitbit so it gives me all that information and then I just have some Mickey Mouse wellness journaling pages for if I feel like I need even more space to um, journal and have fun. And then we have my eighth planner. So this is my household planner. I have my monthly overview here uh, with just some monthly goals, some important dates here. And this is my dashboard Mickey Mouse color block planner. And so these pages are from this planner right here that says be happy. And I love this planner so much. It's so cute. I love the color block Mickey Mouse line. So we have the monthly spread. I don't really do too much in here except to write down important dates, appointments, and the dashboard for me is like the best format for household planning because it already gives you those built-in errands and to buy sections. Okay, so the camera cut out, so I'm not sure exactly where I was, but I think I was here. And I was saying that I really love the dashboard style for household because it's so perfect for household. And we have the errand section here and the to buy section. We have two sections here for calls and emails to make and bills to pay, but I never use those sections for that because I have a budget planner already and I also if I have a call or email to make that concerns my household, I tend to always just kind of write them down here on this section. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to use these two sections. And then the grid section is kind of like a you know freebie section for me. Sometimes I'll kind of like brainstorm routines. Like here I was thinking about my perfect morning and evening routine, although I never wrote down anything about it. And then also this section up here, I've also been kind of trying to play around with it. Um, generally, I don't really use it too much, um, but I will use it if I have like appointments going on that day that concern my household, which I normally don't every single week. So that section is kind of blank all the time. So I just cover it up with stickers. Um, so here I was playing around with habit tracking, but I'm still figuring out exactly how I want to use this grid section. And I just left the section blank. Again, I just covered up this section up here. Um, normally the sec that section looks like this. It gives like an overview for every single day. And I've been thinking of um, just writing down like important things that are happening those days. Like for example, there's a farmer's market that happens on Tuesday. So I write that down there. So I remember, and if anything else was happening, you know, this week, I would write it down. 
Um, and yeah, so this was last week. And in terms of stickers, what I use for my sticker style in this planner is colorful Mickey Mouse because it is a colorful color block Mickey Mouse planner. And I thought it would be fun to use just like color block Mickey Mouse stickers. And when I first started this planner, I only had a few pages left of my color block Mickey Mouse sticker book. So I ended up running out of it pretty quickly. And, and so this week I just switched to using just regular Mickey Mouse stickers, but with like the colorful themes, um, with a colorful theme to it. So uh, these were all like of the, the black and pink mini stickers that I used this week. And then that is it for my household planner. I'll pop in my bookmark back in here and we can move on to my final ultimate planner. This is my meal prepping planner and I'm using the meal planner from the Happy Planner. This one, this thing is gorgeous. I love it so much. And for the monthly overview, I have some just regular monthly chores that are kind of related to meal prepping and planning here up in the top. I was thinking of using this grid section to print out photos of like meals I've made or like family meals that we're all eating together. I thought that would be fun, but I never got around to doing that. And then here in this section, it says recipes to try. So I'll just write down recipes that I'm thinking about making. And then we have the monthly calendar view, which here I'll write down or I'll give myself a sticker for every time that I meal prep. And then I'll write down also when I try new recipes or when I go out to eat, when I have like a cheat meal or something, I'll write that down there. And then here, um, these were supposed to be like grocery lists and ingredients for different meals but i kind of uh used this page as a pantry inventory instead i tried loosely grouping it together um but because i ended up having a lot more things in one category over another I ended up just kind of like trying to loosely group things together but it's not very uh it's not very organized but this is my pantry inventory these are all things that are kind of they kind of have a longer shelf life. They kind of live in the pantry a little bit longer than, you know, um, than not. And I wanted to do this because sometimes I forget what I have in my pantry and I'll be at the store and I'll like be wondering if I have, you know, uh, lentils or molasses or whatever. And I end up like buying doubles of things. So this is going to be really helpful for me to just make sure that I know what's in my pantry. And I'm thinking of, using this page as a pantry inventory as well. This is a grocery list, but I tend to use these like stationary pages that I got at a TJ Maxx for my grocery lists um, because I just like how it's a little bit bigger and it's also like you, you have like a meal um, plan here on the left hand side. So it kind of goes together and I don't really tend to use this page as a grocery list. I tried and then I just didn't use it. So I'm thinking of using this as a pantry inventory as well um, for the following month. And then this is the first week in January, um, last week of December. I'm very functional with this. I'm not very decorative with it. Um, for me, it's a lot more functional than it is decorative. I do try to decorate it, but I don't really care to make it super cute. Another thing that I do is I'll write down like the ballpark estimate of the calories for each meal so I kind of get an idea of how much, you know, how much I'm eating. And then this is, uh, I got a little bit more decorative here. Uh, something fun that I've been doing is I'll put down a little coffee sticker every time I have coffee because I am trying to reduce my coffee intake uh, so I don't get addicted. <laughs> And then also I'm trying to drink more green smoothies with spinach and kale. So every time I have a green smoothie for a meal, I'll pop that down there and I'll do the little green smoothie icon and color it bright green. And so it, it, it looks cute and it makes me proud of when I, you know, drink, drinking a green smoothie for a meal. This page, I was a little bit more decorative with it. I have my coffee stickers, my green smoothie doodles, and also I had beef and pork this week. So I had these little um, cow and pig stickers that I, that I just popped down here. And also I have some random food stickers 
So I put down this donut sticker, I had donuts, and then we had burgers on Sunday. So I have this burger stamp that I just put down there. And then here we have another one of those um, grocery lists that I like using. And then my bookmark. And so this is the current week here. And I had burgers, leftover burgers, Monday and Tuesday, my green smoothie, coffee. And yeah, so that's what we have going on. And that is my last page in my meal prep planner. And at the back of my planner, the last thing I have is just a folder with stickers. Uh, I have honeybee stickers here, um, food stickers, and some holiday stickers. And on the back of that, I just have a bunch of different stationery. Um, these are all like daily stationery sheets. So we have uh, like lists, um, little like daily productivity sheets from various uh, paper crafting like companies. These ones are really cute. Um, I like these a lot. And I also have a couple of these um, daily sheets. These are really cute. I'll pull for these whenever I feel like inspired to use one of these. And that is it. That's all I have in my planner. I'm gonna pop these in back in to here um, but i hope you enjoyed that whirlwind tour through my happy planner let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i would love to hear what you're thinking about let me know how many planners you have and which ones you like using the most and yeah all right everyone Thanks again so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video, which is going to be actually a setup of my February happy planner. So stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, take care, stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.